Hey team, wanting to make a quick video on entrepreneurship. Um, it's, uh, as, as you may know, I am starting out, I've got a small business um, and I wasn't really sure wh what I was doing when I got started um, and I still don't know what I'm doing um, as I'm going. It's been a, an adventure um, and it's it's been fun so far. I Right now, it, the idea was to have an arts cafe, um, coffee shop with upcycled goods there. Um, and um, kind of an online community with tutorials for how to upcycle and uh, how to build the life you want. And um, so um, it's right now we are at the stages where um, I am selling uh, miscellaneous upcycle goods online and um, I also have some tutorials online so we've got a website that's in, in progress that's um, meant to be an opening for a community um, you know comments and things um, but um, it's it's been pretty all right so far. I will say though, I'm kind of having a, a little bit of a weird situation, um, and I think this is this might just be um, kind of a normal part of like the growing building process of business, um, where um, I you know I'm um, selling things online. I don't have a, a you know a business like a physical business uh, just because I'm not making any revenue. Um, and um, the revenue that I am collecting isn't enough to pay for general liability insurance. Uh, so general liability insurance um, is what you need to be able to table at local venues. Um, and also you need it if you are going to have a physical presence out in the community. So um, so I am, you know, I am selling things, um, but not enough to, you know, to... Um, kind of start something bigger, start the nest egg to get the, the restaurant. So, uh, you know, the cafe and the, um, you know, the bigger picture was the, the community element of it. So, uh, it's been, um, interesting because, um, you know, it's something that I care about. It's something that I want everyone to be able to do to build the life they want. Um, and I think this might be pretty typical of the small businesses. Um, just, um, you know, not, uh, just not, uh, <laughs> uh, quite making it. So I, I think I'm feeling what a lot of young entrepreneurs or early entrepreneurs kind of feel. I think um, a lot of places, you know, you want to have like a micro loan, you know, something that kind of gets you started um, if you don't already have that following. Um, you know, I've I've heard, you know, we had entrepreneurs come in and say, yeah, I was selling out of the back of my truck and, you know, it's, and uh, so to turn a profit and then I kind of grew to this and then I grew to that and we got the, the storefront. And so, um, so we're kind of in that tweet space. Um, I feel like sales have increased and I don't know if that's just because they've, I've had a few recently. Um, but, um, we're still kind of in that tweener space where we're, um, you know, feeling the growing pains because, you know, I'm, I've got the, the stock and I'd love to get out there. Again, it's not though about selling the goods. It's about you building the life that you want. And that's why the community element was so big, um, having the coffee shop and having uh, the space for people to come together. Um, so, um, so it's just, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I think I'm actually losing money on the online sales um, just because shipping costs quite a bit and um, so it's, and I've had a few orders from exotic locales. <laughs> um, so it's actually pretty disheartening to start off with. Um, but you know, as you know, I kind of think of it like, well, you know, I would give this as a gift. I have given this as a gift. So, uh, if this person wants this, I'm going to gift it to you. If I, you know, if I have to spend more on the shipping than, uh, than, uh, then I'm making it as revenue and I could boost my prices, but then I would like, I would never pay for that, that much for it. So it's like, I'm not going to charge people that much for it. You know, it's as upcycled. And the point is that they make it themselves. And so maybe if they have it in their own sphere, that'll inspire them to do more for themselves too. Um, and maybe these, these um, customers do just want to support me and my endeavors or, um, you know, I don't know, you know, the, what their demographic is, what exactly their draw is. You know, I think my stuff is cute and what have you. Um, but, um, but we're just experiencing some of that early, the early stages of, I want a table, but I, you know, I, I actually called and I was like, I will pay for this general liability insurance. And they're like, we cannot give it to you. You don't make enough money. <laughs> you are going to go, you are going to go in debt with this <laughs> insurance. It's like, I know, I just want a table <laughs> just once or over the summer, please. I will pay too much to have this insurance. So I think, I think, uh, it's okay. It's um, early stages. Um, 
I'll just keep doing, keep trucking. And it's been a side project. I kind of said that the cafe was going to be a retirement. It could potentially be a retirement project. And so, um, so we'll see how far we get just doing the day to day, the daily stuffs. Um, and I don't mind gifting it out. Cause like I said, it's, you know, it is kind of, it's garbage. Don't tell. I, upcycling is you know it's garbage <laughs> if, if someone could in theory recycle it or throw it away so um depending on your resources of course you know some things are nicer and then um but so um just kind of those early stages of you know making it through and um you really do have to love what you do and care about what you do um not to just get frustrated and be like no <laughs> So, um, but it's been fun. And I do want to say thank you, a shout out to the folks that have been, um, on the, on the online page and checking it out and supporting. And, um, I know I, uh, I'm pretty hit, hit or miss on the social media stuff, but it's, it's been fun. It's been a challenge. It's been, and I, last year I said I was going to do a turn and pivot, just an abrupt turn and pivot. Um, I'd like to swap to a nonprofit. So maybe if I, so I was kind of trying to figure out how to do this. I'd love to have it as a nonprofit, um, you know, build the life you want and, give it to folks living in poverty, you know, give proceeds to those who in need, who are in need. Um, and so, um, so, but they, I was, you know, it's kind of a multifaceted business plan anyway. So it's going to need several business entities or whatever to, and several different forms of insurance. So it's going to, it would have been a, you know, a, a process anyway. So trying to figure out how it's all going to pair together is, um, a project for this year. <laughs> I don't know, you know, cause it said, you know, what is your main revenue builder? And that's online sales. So right now it's like online sales is kind of its, its shtick, um, just cause, um, that's kind of all that's, you know, you know, the tutorials don't make anything. So, so trying to figure out, um, you know, what I can get away with before I have to, you know, it's before, you know, how to go about, okay, well now I'm going to split this into two different things, how, you know, and, you know, so I don't know. <laughs> so I met, I kind of was teasing a, a big change for Sunkiss Lynn for the, the small business last year. Um, so it's still in the works. Um, I was thinking even like rebranding a little bit, um, mixing up my my sunflowers <gasps> you know but just to uh, keep it real keep it fresh um uh, we'll see what happens i don't know but okay i just want to make a video i love you thank you all for your support and um keep building the life you want keep making it keep doing you um and take care of yourself take, take care of others and i'll talk to you later bye